Hey guys, Tez here, and today I have got my second best class setups video for you. This is going to be using the M27, as you can see on the screen right now, in the class that I'm mostly going to be using. Uh, I say mostly, but I'll explain that in a second. But uh, we're going to be using the adjustable stock, the fast mags. Going to have flat jacket as my perk 1. Perk 2 greed is going to be scavenger and toughness, with perk 3 as tactical mask. Using my Betty, which will probably be featured in most of my classes, and then because I had a point spare and I didn't really know what to use, threw on a pistol. Now I would recommend the TAC 45, I think it's called, or TAC 95, but uh, I've decided to throw on the B23R because that is the pistol that I'm trying to get in gold at the moment, and uh, well, obviously I need it on a class to be able to get headshots with it. But uh, we're going to dive straight in with some clips here. I think this video is going to be a little bit shorter than the chicken one. I think I'm going to adjust how I do these videos, but I'll explain that in like a future video or a normal commentary. But uh, we're going to jump into some clips now, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And uh, these are my opinions, so they might not be the best, but uh, I hope they work for you. This is the first clip. This is me using the stock to its absolute best. I'm here ducking in and out of cover, just kind of aim down sight, I don't even need to, to not aim. And I'm poking in and out, walking backwards and forwards, left and right, just so I get a better advantage when an enemy comes around the corner. I can hop behind cover faster than they can. And I think I explained this in my first class setup video, which would have been the chicken. Now, I've only recently started to use stock on... SMGs, but I always use stock on assault rifles, and it, it, it's just such a beneficial, beneficial, I use beneficial a lot, I use that a lot in the first one, but it's such a good attachment for assault rifles, like, I, I will show you, after this kind of streak I go on here for this clip, I get like, um, quite a nice little three kill streak really quickly, and the stock definitely helped me get that. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the perk setup that I'm running at the moment, I don't normally change up my perks from Ghost and Hardline, but I thought from these, for these, sorry, for these class setup videos, I was going to try and do something a little bit different, something that actually would be better for me than just the regular Hardline and Ghost. But my first perk is Flak Jacket, as you saw at the beginning. And Flak Jacket is definitely very, very good for objective game types. Like, we're playing Hardpoint at the moment. As you can see, I'm in the hard point. I'm getting ready for it for the for this one that's just started now. Unfortunately, I didn't get the points for that, which is which is kind of annoying. But uh, flak jacket. If somebody was to throw a nade through the corner of the the window or the door, or even C4 or a Betty or something, I I wouldn't need to immediately run out of the way. If I was injured, then yes, I might have to. But having full health like I do now, I don't really need to worry about explosives until I take like one bullet's worth of damage. That's when it. Uh, Become something that I need to to be aware of. Now, flak jacket in objective game types, like I said, is very important. If you're trying to defuse a bomb, or if you're trying to plant a bomb in demolition or search, even sabotage. I think I think that's sabotage. That you can defuse and plant bombs. But even in that game type, you can sponge an aid and then manage to get your defuse or your plant off, and then you might even win the game. Now. This is the, the little clip here where I'm just strafing side to side, aim down, don't even need to worry about unaiming. Is there, is there a word for unaiming? Don't even need to worry about not scoping in because the stock I can just move as freely as I want. And uh, the, the fast mags here is definitely very good because you just split second, you've swapped out 30 bullets for another 30 bullets. You don't need to worry about having to hide behind cover, you can just keep pushing forwards. Now, I think this i pick up a double kill here in this middle i turn around and pick up a straggler after a quick reload i thought that that was a quite a nice clip showing off the uh the uses of the fast mag and stock attachment combination now the next perk i have to discuss is my perk 2 group which is scavenger and toughness now scavenger is pretty much self-explanatory it's just so i can pick up more ammo and keep my streaks going but uh, the toughness perk, it's a really good perk because it allows you to keep your aim pretty much straight on the people that you're shooting. It stops you from flinching. And then I was getting shot at by some people whilst going for a triple kill. And because I had toughness, I actually managed to pick up the triple kill regardless of the fact that I was getting shot at. Now, my personal opinion on the perk toughness is that it is slightly overpowered. I still believe that if you get shot with a bullet... There is, there is no chance in hell that I'm going to be able to keep my gun in real life 
on somebody's body and pull the trigger. But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, I'm going to use it on this class because it is such a good perk. And, and there's me picking up the, the second triple kill. Didn't actually get attacked by anyone in that, that little clip there. But uh, still, toughness and scavenger, pretty staple perks. Pretty good class to use, especially with this gun. You kind of do mow through ammo quite a bit and almost picked up a second triple kill in that life. But uh, the next perk is Tactical Mask. Now this one is, is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not really going to talk much about it. I mean, I always run Tactical Mask because I hate the fact that you get stunned and it lasts forever. I hate getting shock charged and... I don't know if people have seen it yet, or of course people have seen it, but I don't know if people run into it a lot, but uh, people always throw shock charges on the floor and then put Betty's right next to them, because if you get shock charged, your hearing goes a little bit, you can't really hear the Betty go off, and you can't see anything, so you have no idea what's going on. Shock charge, Betty, and you're dead. So, Tactical Mask at least, at least helps me dodge those really, really gay traps. That pretty much does it for all the perks and, and my class setup. I included this clip because I thought it was pretty cool. It is just a showcase that you don't need to run grip on all assault rifles. Now I tend to run grip on quite a few, but you on the M27 you, you definitely don't need it at all. Now this clip is it's kind of cool. What it is is a I think it's like a four four little a little four kill streak. And within that, I get like three quite long headshots. Don't pick up one there. I got an assist off that one. Pick up a nice headshot there and then the double kill. A guy comes up to the top sniping balcony at the back. I pick up a headshot on him and then back where I got the first headshot, another guy's there. And it just shows that even fully auto with the M27 without grip, it's just a beast gun. So that pretty much concludes my second best class setup video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy this class, definitely try it and let me know what you think. I, I definitely think it's a, it's a class that is is very, very good. And uh, that pretty much does it for me. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to leave it a like, that would be great. Again, with these, I, I tend to have to record longer with a Betty direct impact kill. Like I was saying, I have to record a little bit longer to get the nice clips that kind of fit in with the, the class that I'm using. And then obviously match it all together for you guys. So if you liked it, please leave me a like. Let me know what you thought. And uh, pretty much just take it easy, guys. Just want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for leaving a like if you did. Now, the annotation on the screen now is going to be my first part in my Devil May Cry walkthrough that I've just started. It's a pretty awesome game. I'm going to do a complete let's play of it on my channel. And that was the the last video I uploaded. It's a lot different from my normal COD uploads. But I think it's it's one hell of an amazing game. So if you if you kind of want to, want to see what it's like. Click the annotation on the screen now. And uh, you can pretty much enjoy me fail. Because it's the first time I've ever played Devil May Cry. Thanks for watching guys. Again take it easy. And I'll speak to you next time.